Hi everyone, this is Aki with another Google Sheet tip. We're going to learn how to create mathematical, economic, or financial formulas that use superscript or subscript. So you can create formulas such as these by using Unicodes. And I'll show you some best practices as well as where to find like summary of all the different letters and numbers that you can use as your subscript and superscript. So let's get started. So the way it works is we actually have to reference some Unicodes that I'll show you where to find the Unicodes. And then you use the Google Sheet char formula for character and you reference that number in the formula to produce a result that's either superscript or subscript. So for example, for number two, I would use a Unicode 178 to get a superscript, or I can use code 8322 to get a subscript. So let me show you an example. So when we start the formula, we put an equal, and then we start typing the formula. The formula for these Unicodes is char, which is for character. And once you start typing it, you will have some information on the formula. You can click on it, have some question mark, and then you can learn more. Now, when I do that, did that, it tells you about the formula. It converts a number into a character according to Unicode table. And it has links to two Unicode websites, but personally, I did not find them helpful. This is the first one. It's super overwhelming, so that's kind of useless. Then I clicked on the Wikipedia one. It was a little bit better, but you still had to keep digging through a lot of things. And you, you can imagine how much time it would take to put together this summary table. So I will link to three resources. And one actually has a Google Sheet template where you can get the Unicodes for all the typical superscript and subscript. So I, the one, the table that I actually personally used was called Unicode dash table.com and here are a lot of characters and symbols that are used and you can find useful and using google sheet so one that actually a lot of people might find very helpful is the bullet points so if you want to create bullet points in google sheet this is super helpful when you create when you go to the character or symbol you don't copy this because this copies the image and guess what you don't copy the unicode code either you actually have to copy the HTML code and so I copy this for the bullet point it's 8226 I go to Google Sheet and I paste it there in that number make sure it's just the number and close parenthesis and now I have my character my bullet character and then you can also search for other characters maybe some mathematical characters that are not typically found in Google Sheet let's say like cube cube root Let's take this information. So I'm going to copy the HTML code and go to Google Sheet and do equal, paste the code in, close parenthesis, and I have it. And that's kind of how it works. That's why this cheat sheet is helpful because then you don't have to keep searching for these numbers. Now, best practice when you're creating this formula, when you have a short formula like this, you can do everything at once however the longer ones i'll show you i do step by step because there's a lot going on so it's very easy to make a mistake so let me show you first how using the character formula versus linking to this cheat sheet is much more useful if i just start typing character for two for superscript it's 178 and let me add with the use of ampersand some space so in quotation mark, I put some space and I'm going to also link for to um, not link, but actually I'm going to use char 8322 for subscript for number two. So I got this. Now, you see, I had to type in all these character numbers for each of them. Now, that's why it's easier to use the cheat sheet because I can just link to two ampersand add some space and link to subscript. And I have the same thing, but it's much easier, much cleaner, and less prone to error. So that's why we're using the cheat sheet. So now let's start with the formula x to 2 plus 4. So now we're going to, we have to use the formula equal because we're linking to things. So we're not just typing in hard-coded information as text. So now we're going to 
the quotation mark for x which is tax and now i'm going to use ampersand and link to two and then also link to plus because we also have a superscript for plus and then number four and this is our formula so this was easy enough because they just contain few characters but let's do the more complex one like this one i'm going to do equal quotation mark starting with text close quotation mark now linking to t as subscript i also have letter t here in my cheat sheet and then let's enter okay it's it's going well so i can keep going now ampersand and now doing more text equal is a text c plus l close quotation mark ampersand now linking to another t enter okay now everything is looking well but believe me it was not looking like that when i was starting i was making plenty of mistakes where to put quotation mark when to put ampersand for, for getting spacing and so on so it just takes a little bit of patience but that's why that piecemeal approach is helpful so you don't you can catch your mistakes quickly where you make them versus putting the whole formula and then you don't know where you made the mistake and now let's finish the formula plus g close quotation mark ampersand t and we got it so you just have to be a little bit of patient but you can just use this cheat sheet to quickly link to the character the unicode characters the results so then you can quickly create these formulas without having to putting the character numbers in your formulas. So I hope this helped you create economic, mathematical, financial formulas with the use of subscript and super, superscripts and the Unicode cheat sheet. So thanks so much for watching.